Sup guys, Heeking here, bringing you some new information and news regarding Resident Evil 4 Remake. So yeah, Resident Evil 8 Village is now out. I played it, had a good time with it. I like the campaign, I like the overall gameplay. Mercenaries mode is kicking my ass though, I'm not having fun with that, okay? And trying to plan this is a, is a nightmare. But yeah. Resident Evil 4, well, now that the uh, next uh, entry is out, it's all about uh, talking about the next Resident Evil games coming out. Of course, we, we already know if you've seen the uh, Capcom schedule leak, you know that the next RE game coming out is, in fact, going to be called Outrage or Revelations 3. Perhaps. We, we still don't know whether it is Revelations 3 or not. You know, a lot of rumors are saying it is. But after that comes out, we also get Resident Evil 4 remake apparently and uh, yeah there's, uh, there's been a bit of news regarding that game that came out uh yesterday uh from a newser um let me see if i can find the original apparently it's it's gone now you, you can't see it uh and this was by a newser called uh, even his name is gone like you can't even see oh wait no here it is posted by a no danks bro on reddit okay and dos golem himself has replied with uh, regarding that information and has given his own context to it. So uh, yeah, let's let's see if I can uh, uh, get any of this, find the original source so we can talk about it because uh, yeah, this is pretty big. This is pretty big information if this is actually true. Um, keep in mind, again, rumors, you know, we don't know if it is accurate. Uh, always take this with a grain of salt, as it were. Um, yeah, having a hard time tracking down uh, the original thread, as it were, because, uh, yeah, it's, it's locked, locked, it is locked, we can't, we can't read it, um, okay, here we go, alright, so let's talk about what he's been, what Dos Gollum has been saying, unfortunately, I can't find the original info that this guy, the other guy posted, uh, some of it sounded very interesting, unfortunately, but, uh, yeah, hmm, well, I guess we'll have to stick to reading this instead then, uh, which is annoying, because uh, it seems he's omitted a lot of the details that the other guy posted. But okay, uh, first off, people have been asking me this morning about RE4 Remake Reddit rumor. I'll tackle this point by point. One, of course Capcom is aware of leaks. They do investigations on them. The big hack was a big problem for them, partially due to private personal information. It was bad. So, uh, yeah, obviously Capcom would be aware. What kind of a stupid thing would that be to say? Of course Capcom is aware of the leaks, for Christ's sake. I mean, they were monitoring stuff. I posted an entire spoiler video on Rory eight months ago that got that got blocked and taken off by Capcom themselves. Uh, which is interesting, though, that they didn't do the same with uh, the production schedule that leaked, that every news outlet has pretty much ran with, IGN, GameSpot. Everyone's talked about this, and even I talked about it, and that didn't get taken off. Like, that was, that was kept. That was... That's still up for some reason. Um, I, I guess because they don't, they, they, they necessarily don't care about people probably finding out what games they're making or is coming out. Because 50-50 of the time, most likely the the games that they've got in production or are, or are in planned production might not even end up getting made. So it's not a worry for them. But in this case, when you're posting massive spoilers from a game that isn't even out yet and hasn't been marketed properly yet, yeah, that would be a cause of concern and would be justified in the lead, of course. So yeah, obviously Capcom is aware of the leak. So it's kind of a stupid thing to post and say, yeah, yeah, yeah. of course they're aware. Um, point two, uh, the original remake pre-reboot was not exactly like the original. That I can say as a fact. A project did get a reboot as most know they are taking Ari Free's criticism to heart so yeah if you guys are aware uh the uh, developers that made Ari Free remake I think they were called M2 were supposed to make the remake for Ari 4 but uh because of the criticisms for Ari 3 because you know how, how it wasn't a proper remake and it was just it's sort of its own game that basically ignored every, a lot of the elements of the original game they decided to make a more fateful edition apparently a, a version of the game but capcom came in and said nope you're not doing a fateful remake uh because apparently this was supposed to be like a from what this rumor said if i remember reading it from last night it was supposed to be a proper remake remake of the original game just graphically enhanced so essentially you're just you're, ba you're basically looking at a remaster then in a, in a way but um capcom uh, from uh, from what we heard they came in and said you're not doing that and they pretty much gave the game over to another de uh, studio, uh, developer in the studio. I think they gave it to the First Division. 
uh, Capcom's first division. So now they're working on the RE4 remake and M2 has sort of a smaller role now on the game. But uh, yeah, apparently what Dusk is here saying is, is no, this was not going to be a, a, re a, re a remake, like not a proper, proper remake. Um, the original remake, uh, re remake pre it was not exactly, yeah, it's it, like he's saying, yeah, it, it wasn't exactly like the original. So obviously there was going to be some changes, but um, and it did get rebooted. We know it got rebooted, as I've just mentioned, uh, and it's going to be curious to see how much of it has changed, to say the least, um, because obviously they probably want to in implement features uh, from uh, RE2 and RE3 Remake into it. So yeah, point three. RE4's codename is Chainsaw, but that's Popnik knowledge at this point. So yeah, um, is it Popnik knowledge? I didn't even know that the codename for RE4's uh, remake development was Chainsaw. So if it is Popnik knowledge, I, I've just found out about it. So I don't know. That's, that's weird. Point four. Uh, while Capcom do work on a payoff for exclusivity deals, I don't actually believe this part. Unless Sony was offering one hell of compensation for time exclusivity they're aware re4 is a big project so yeah apparently this rumor said that re4 was going to be a ps5 exclusive game which uh, is ridiculous it is ridiculous uh i mean look look, look. Whether you want to agree or disagree a lot of the problems that started with the franchise to begin with uh that basically led to its sort of fall from grace after you know, Resident Evil 3 or Cold Veronica is the whole exclusive deal that uh, Capcom, or in this case, Shinji Mikami did uh, with, with, with with the uh, GameCube. You know, Resident Evil Remake, Resident Evil Zero were exclusive to that console. And those were the last games, basically, to use the classic style. And yeah, as you can imagine, when, you, when you've got Pacific Games exclusive on a console, it's either going to do very well or it's going to not do very well. And in this case, it didn't do very well because if it did they wouldn't have rebooted the series with re4 and given us the new gameplay features and that and changed the entire concept of the series because if it had done well if remake and zero had done well on the gamecube i imagine they would have continued with the gameplay elements that you know were so well known in the franchise but no they clearly didn't do well because of exclusive rights and Resident Evil 4 had to be rebooted, and that's what we ended up with. And of course, because of that whole situation to begin with that happened with uh, those games, uh, I'm assuming Capcom realized that, yeah, having having, a, having these games be exclusive on one console is pretty stupid, and that's why we ended up getting a PS2 version a year later with all the extra content. And then Shinji Mikami was like, screw that, I didn't agree to this, I'm leaving, you guys are assholes, when in reality, he was the idiot that kind of screwed everything up. Like, when you sit down and read through all of this stuff, Really, it's pretty basic, simple, logic reason why the franchise went the way it did. And it's all to do with blaming that one guy for doing that. You know, that's my opinion anyway. I don't care if you guys want to argue or not agree with me about it, but uh, that's my opinion. That's what I've seen. That's what I've researched. That's why I've come to the conclusion. You know, Capcom's not really to blame with the situation that Resident Evil ended up in in those years. Right now, it's in a good position. Right now, it's gotten back to, to what it should be. But uh, back then, Jesus, that was like... Yeah, um, while Capcom do, okay, we already talked about that, uh, so yeah, is it going to be a PS5, that's the question, is it? No, I don't think it is going to be a PS5, like I said, uh, the, Capcom's not stupid to do an exclusive deal, a timed exclusive, maybe, but I see that happening more with Nintendo, because they've done that before recently, obviously, uh, when they did that with Revelations, you know, they had a Revelations 1B uh, exclusive on the 3DS, and then it ended up being on the PS3, and then it ended up being ported on the PS4, so, yeah. They're not gonna, they're not gonna do that whole exclusive, exclusive stuff, especially since they ended up having a port Resident Evil One remake and Zero onto the PS4 and the Xbox uh, One and that. So I don't think they're ever gonna do that again. Time exclusive, maybe like a yearly time exclusive, uh, properly most likely. But uh, exclusive, exclusive, no, I don't see that. I don't see that happening. No, that's just ridiculous. Number five, I don't know what the platforms are post reboot currently, but properly true. Properly. So this is another rumor. It's a bit weird saying that the game is... So it's a bit weird. One minute the guy, I believe the rumor said it was going to be exclusive to PS5. And the next minute he's saying that most likely it, it, it's, def it's definitely being made for the Xbox series and PS5. And now you've got Dusk on him saying that he doesn't know what the post... 
So this is a bit very confusing what he's talking about right now in terms of the exclusive deal and then now not knowing what the post reboot console versions are going to be. I'm assuming it's going to be it's going to be current consoles now at this point. You know, RE8 was a special. It was a special special case. You know, the last game had just come out on the PS uh, PS4 and the Xbox One. And now they were making the new game. And if you've all read the previews for it, the game was originally being built for the PS, PS4, Xbox One before it was before development stopped for that. And then they decided to move it onto the PS5 and the Xbox Series. And apparently, rumors said that the game was not doing well on PS5. Apparently, there were features they were trying to implement on on the next generation consoles that weren't working. It worked on the Xbox Series. Apparently, whatever they were trying to do worked on the Xbox Series. But whatever they were trying to implement on the PS5 was not working, apparently. And in the end, they decided, okay, take those features out and put it, put it, put it on the PS4 and the Xbox. So obviously, because there's also a large demand. And also, mainly, and I think this is the main reason. Again, what I just said was, was a rumor. We don't know if that was 100% true. Uh, Dusk himself says that there were issues. And I imagine there were, because if you do watch the uh, original trailer footage that came out when the game was revealed, you could tell there was a bit of a... Uh, certain issues with the footage being shown so i i i i i am inclined to believe there were issues with with at least that version of the game but i'm also more inclined to believe that because a lot of people don't have current gen con at least when it comes to ps5 i think a lot of people don't have a ps5 currently and apparently it's going to be a big issue as well going forward that uh, you know a lot of people aren't going to be ending up with a ps5 at least until next year maybe even the year before next year the year after that as well so uh, yeah, it's going to be a bit of an issue of people getting... I'm, I, I don't have a PS5. I'm having a hard time. Uh, to be fair, I'm not looking for a PS5 yet. I'm not getting a PS5 until next year or the year after, maybe. So I'm not in the rush. But even if I wanted to get one now, it's impossible. Because th th there's no place they're selling it. And if there are, it's, it's going to be like uh, £700 or whatever. And no one's going to waste a, a lot of money for, for that. Do you know what I mean? So yeah, at the moment, currently, a lot of people don't have that console. And yeah, obviously, they would have been like, okay, we're going to put the game onto the next, the last gen generation as well. So yeah, that makes sense from a business standpoint as well. Because, you know, they're in it for the money, of course. You know, you can't just like release it and then hope to do well. It's not going to do well when a lot of your customers and consumers don't have the console currently. So yeah, that brings up an interesting, interesting question: Is 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 RE4 remake gonna be on on all the consoles, or is it gonna be exclusive to next gen? I'm I'm assuming it's gonna be made for next gen. Okay, it's gonna be, or in this case, current gen, if you will. Well, current gen, technically, I keep saying next gen. Well, current gen now. So obviously, it's gonna be made for current gen. So PS5 and Xbox Series definitely. Uh, surely by 20, if this game is supposed to come out by 2023, by then people should have. The new the new consoles then so yeah it would make sense to for that to be on that specifically number six the camera switching thing i don't know enough about uh, the pro project pre-reboot to say but it sounds like bullshit to me with re2 remake they kept camera options in debug but focused on the single angle so yeah apparently the rumor guy uh, uh said that the game was gonna give you the option of playing this in uh, third person and first person, and you got Dosk here saying that that's bullshit. Like he, you know, he's not. He knows about the stuff that happened pre, -re, you know, pre reboot. But currently, no, he doesn't, and it sounds like bullshit. And you know what? It does sound like bullshit, especially when you have uh, the Resident Evil 4 VR game uh, coming out, which is first person. So what? What is the? What is the point of making a remake and then adding that? What, what do you mean? What is the point at all? Like, um, surely that would have been something like a big demand in, in implementing for the remakes that recently came out even re8 for christ's sake like having a third person option in there but it just doesn't make sense um it, it doesn't make sense to have that kind of option in there would, would may, may, maybe because of the vr element now coming out maybe capcom would have kind of be like huh if this does well maybe we should implement first person for re4 but i don't see the point re4 it because think about this it's, it's a remake of of a third person game Right, the thing that people remember about the game is is the third person. It's the game that revolutionized third person games. Okay, that's the game that sort of gave birth to to that concept of over the shoulder view. I'm I'm, I'm sure there's probably another game that did it first, but Capcom was the most well now well known established one at the time. So why would you create? Why would you have the remake be first person? And even if it, even if you have the option of it being first person, why? Why? Unless you could implement VR into it. What is the point? Do you know I mean you're, you're already you're already getting the VR with the original game? What is the point of doing it for the new one? You might as well just wait for the new one. Then do you know what I mean? Like it, it seems like a bit too much to do, and 
seems all over the place. So it does sound like bullshit to me. So I'm kind of going to agree with his point here that it's bullshit. Unless, surprise, surprise, we get the trailer review and it's like, it's first person and then it cuts to first person. It's like, oh my god, like you can get to do the earth. I don't know. We'll see. I've never seen Capcom do that. So unless they want to surprise us, I don't see it happening. 2.6, the VR thing sounds like bullshit uh, to me. For one, how would the original game be identical to the original, yet they were considering VR for it as it wouldn't have first as it wouldn't have first person. Plus, I know the pre reboot didn't. And why would I deal with Oculus? They agreed and to and sign up on ruin their plans. Yeah, I don't get this. Again, it, it goes back to that first thing that I said. Um, like I said, it goes back to the first thing uh, that I said. I don't get this. Uh, they're already doing the Oculus VR um, game. Like, why would they? Do you know what I mean I don't get this whole? It doesn't make it doesn't make a lot of sense. And the whole concept of it, they're ruining. So what? Uh, Capcom were planning to implement first person and VR into the RE4 remake, but then Oculus beat them to it. But then wouldn't they have agreed and signed off on it? So why would that ruin their plans? Again, that kind of part does come across as bullshit. So I do kind of agree with Dusk when he says that. Like, when, when, because surely Capcom is in charge of that. Surely Capcom, when, when Oculus comes to them saying, we want to do a VR version of RE4 Remake, uh, it's going to be first person, obviously, you know, obviously. Uh, Capcom will be like, yeah, sure, sure, do it. We agree to it. Shit. Uh, that screws up our plans for the RE4 Remake. Uh, well, scratch the first person view from that. Like, do you understand? It doesn't make any sense. Like, it, it, that sounds like real bullshit to me. Uh, 8. Ari... So I don't get this part. 8. Ari 8 has a photo mode. Again, I don't know what questions he's responding to specifically. So I'm assuming... I'm assuming this guy guy was making a big deal about photo mode. Uh, or it not being implemented or something. And then... Or it was. And it's going to be like a big thing. And then you've got him just coming and saying... Ari 8 at photo mode. So... I don't know. I don't know what that's to, to do with. Uh, number 9. To see character stuff is changed... To see, a character stuff is changed a lot in dev of these games. Um, I don't get this part about character stuff being mentioned. Uh, number 10, I've mentioned Dr. Salvador's expansion pre-reboot. Not sure, post-reboot merchant is pretty obvious. Uh, 11, not heard about this personally. Okay, so I think this is to do with the um, character expansions when it comes to the remake. So apparently the Chainsaw Maniac or Dr. Salvador is going to get a big massive expansion in the remake. Which makes a lot of sense because I'm I'm assuming he's going to be the stalker of the village segment. I'm, I'm going into this with the assumption that, um, you know, each segment, uh, the village, the castle and the island is going to have their own personal stalker villain chasing after you with the village it makes sense that it's going to be dr salvador uh, with uh, the castle i'm assuming it's going to be salazar's bodyguard like he's going to have a bigger role and he's going to be chasing you around a lot more and with the island um with the island it's either going to be it they're going to do something with it or it's going to be krauser like he's going to get a bigger role and he's going to be like a stalker that's going to be chasing you around until you get to that point in the game where you have the boss fight with him um that's that's just my opinion. Like I, I don't know about everything else. The merchant getting expanded would be cool. It would be cool to finally get the merchant to get in an expanded role and figure out what he's all about. Uh, the rumor, the rumor did, and I'm 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 assuming this is to do with either point nine or point eleven. Uh, to see character stuff is changed a lot in dev of these games, or not heard about this personally. So I'm assuming this is to do with Claire because if you if you have had the original rumor info here, it said that Claire was going to be an RE4 remake. Um, which is, which is crazy, uh, especially because apparently, apparently, um, uh, it's going to tie in with Infinite Darkness. As you all know, uh, Infinite Darkness takes place after Resident Evil 4, apparently, and maybe Degeneration. So, um, I, I don't know where that, where that fits in in the timeline. I don't know if that takes place after RE4 between Degeneration or if it takes place after RE4 and Degeneration. So I'm a bit complicated. It's a bit complicated on, on the timeline for that Pacific series. But we do know that Leon and Claire are obviously in it and that the president uh, that Leon is protecting in that game is Ashley Graham's father, you know. Uh, so it's it's President it's pre, it's it's, pre, it's President Graham. So Leon is protecting him. So, and I, and I read a lot of people say, oh, I hope they cut Ashley out of RE4. That's not going to work, especially if it's, if it's rumored that this game is supposed to lead into infinite darkness like apparently apparently netflix went to a capcom and they particularly asked them to include a teaser that leads into you know infinite darkness for the end of re re to have re4 remake have a teaser leading into that so maybe maybe that's possible i don't know dusk I, i'm assuming that's the point he's referring to. he hasn't heard of that especially with the whole that claire is going to be in it if claire you know if they're, if they're changing the game to include claire in this that would be great because if there's one thing 
if there's one thing that I hate about Resident Evil 4, and I've said this many times, I hate the original plot of this game. I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. It makes no logical sense. It's its own thing. It's a side story. I hate it. It, it has no real connection to, to the previous games. I, imagine you're sitting down and you're playing Resident Evil 1 to Code Veronica, or 0 to Code Veronica, and then you get to the end of Code Veronica and all of this, uh, you know, story elements are set up, and then you get to Resident Evil 4 and nothing is continued from what happened at the end of Code Veronica. Resident Evil 4 Remake needs needs connections to connect to the previous uh, games. Apparently, the rumor, the rumor info said that uh, Resident Evil 4 Remake would connect specifically to elements set up in Resident Evil 2 Remake and Resident Evil 3 Remake, which makes a lot of sense because Resident Evil 3 Remake included the whole new a uh, law element of a nemesis being a prototype Las Plagas. Uh, if you didn't know this before, apparently Capcom already were aware of Las Plagas and they were trying to make their own and a nemesis was the result. Personally, I, I always liked the idea that Las Plagas was the nemesis parasite or was a distant cousin of the nemesis parasite. Um, the idea of, of, of a nemesis, of the nemesis parasite being, being like a a version of, of of the last bloggers that they were trying. Okay, I, I guess it makes sense. It sort of fits, and uh, that's kind of cool that they made that connection. So hopefully, they sort of wove more into that connection and connected more to that. But I'm also hoping they connected more to Umbrella as well, including was including if they're gonna, if they're going to have Sadler and Salazar and all that crap come back, they need to heavenly um, make you know in, connect this to that. And apparently, it's going to connect to RE8 as well, perhaps. Um, I don't know how that would work, mate. Is it going to connect to the mold it somehow? Maybe the last plugger is it? I don't know. It'll be. It'll be. It's weird. It sounds weird, but the more connections are to the to the bigger elements of the universe and the lore of the story and everything that came before, great. Because uh, as a standalone game, it, it's just it, it, it's it's stupid. Like you, it doesn't feel like a Resident Evil game. It doesn't feel connected to Resident Evil well. Like I said, it it feels like its own bloody thing. It's like you're reading or watching an anime and suddenly you have a bunch of filler appear and then it has nothing to do with the rest of the series yeah you've got the last vloggers in re5 but besides one mention oh it's the kennedy report like it's not really a big deal especially with the way with the, it, the way that wesker is at the end of resident 4 and then in resident 5 like there's obviously a time frame there that's missing that we never got so yeah there's a, there's a lot of info that was just like that just sort of like it's like they fast forwarded they, they looked at resident 4 and they were like yeah this debate this made a lot of mistakes in the story Skip all that, you know, mention Lost Bloggers in a cutscene or something, whatever. We're, we're, we're just going to go straight off from where Cold Veronica ended with the Chris and Wesker rivalry, blah, 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 etc., etc. You know, they have to save Jill, blah, blah, blah. And that, that's what it is. That's what it ended up being. And, uh, yeah. Um, and I'm hoping, I'm hoping Resident Evil 4 has a lot more story connections to the past games. The inclusion of Claire would be awesome, but I don't see how it would fit in. Like, that's the biggest thing that I'm thinking, like, how does that fit in there? Like, especially when the game has to sort of attempt to be like to tie in like again this is the biggest problem with these remakes that i have resident evil 2 remake and resident evil 3 remake you know aren't aren't the canon they aren't the canon of the games like they don't they don't really tell you anything new and they don't add anything big or major to the lore with the exception of maybe the nemesis parasite being sort of a a a, 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 a newer version of Las plagas nothing is really done to push the story forward in a bigger way so when you're when you're the kind of guy sitting down and wondering, whoa, uh, after Resident Evil remake, what should, should I play Resident Evil two and three? No, the the, the you would you, you technically speaking, you should be playing the original Resident Evil two and three games because they have a lot more story information in there that the remakes cut out, and they're not even remakes, they're reimaginings. So they're, they're they're their own thing, they're their own canon, and that's the biggest problem with Resident Evil four remake as well now because uh, is this going to be its own canon as well, or is it is it going to try and us uh, usurp? The original RE4, the way that Resident Evil Remake usurped the original RE1. Because if it's going to do that, especially with all the crap that's being said that it's going to connect to RE8 and Infinite Darkness, it would have to usurp, right, the original game. So, but yeah, I'm curious what, what all of this stuff is going to mean. I'm curious if Claire is actually going to be in this. I'm curious about the connections and how it's going to connect to previous games and next games going forward. Uh, number 12. Not sure their plans post reboot on extra modes currently. Assignment Ada gets a raised eyebrow for me, but who knows? To scheme over the next few points, I'm pretty sure they want it by 2023. For the, okay, uh, uh, okay, about the extra modes for Resident Evil 4. As you all know, Resident Evil 4 had 
uh, at least when it came to the PS2 version, when it came out, it had the separate ways uh, Ada storyline that connected to the main storyline game. It had Assignment Ada, which was not canon. It was just its own thing, like a, like a mini game. And obviously the Mercenaries mode. Um, yeah, I can see why he would skim an eye about the Assignment Ada one, because that's not canon. It was its own thing, and it was just sort of... It was in the original RE4 game, and then they included it in the PS2 version, but they also included the uh, new story... Uh, uh, with Ada and that, that actually happens at the same time as the main RE4 storyline. So, I imagine they would include that. Or they do it in a way where you play Leon, and then you sort of cut back and you play Ada's segment, and then, and then, it, and then you cut back and you play Leon again, so maybe they'll do something like that. Uh, if, they, if they try and release this as DLC, that would piss a lot of people off, because the original, the original Ada's Separate Ways was not DLC. That was, that was in the game, that came out. I, ima I imagine if, if DLC was available at the time, they would have released it as DLC. But to do it as DLC would be stupid. It would be ridiculous. It would be offensive. So hopefully they won't do that. I don't care about Assignment Ada. I, I don't care if they include it or not. It's not a big thing. Uh, if they keep if they, if they give us a choice for Ada's alternative uh, stealth outfit, that would be cool. I would love to see that. And more characters in uh, Mercenaries mode, that would be great too. We never got to play Louise, so include him. To skim over the next few points, I'm sure they want it by 2023 for their annual plans, but they'll delay if needed, though they have timetables for announcement releases. Talking about project names is a bit useless, even if true, as they're usually not decided for final until pretty late, as the project was rebooted about half a year ago. I'm sure they know what they're going for, but still pretty early to the bumps, early to the bumps, hurdles and whims of active development. There we go. So yeah, apparently Resident Evil 4 Remake, if you read the original schedule leak for the game, it was supposed to come out for 2022, but it got rebooted, and now uh, apparently the game is going to come out in 23, which obviously makes sense. You know, you rebooted it and you're trying to change up and that. Uh, it's going to be curious to see how much of the original uh, game that was made uh, pre-reboot is going to be kept and, in in this case, enhanced and just expanded upon and added on. Or whether the whole thing is just sort of going to go out the window. I don't think that's going to happen, especially if, it, if like I said, if, if, like you said, it's they're aiming for a 2023 release, so it doesn't make sense for them to scrap a lot of the game. I'm assuming they're keeping a lot of the main elements and they're just going to expand on it because otherwise, what the game started re got rebooted half a year ago, so you've got you've got the entirety of this year and the next year, and then whatever year it's going to come out in 23. I'm assuming it's going to be a late 23 release, so yeah, um, we're not going to. We're not going to hear anything about this game until late 2022 or, uh, you know, in, in the middle of 23. Like, probably for E3, maybe, where they'll, where they'll reveal it and then it'll, it'll come out, like, at the end, like, in December, maybe, or something, like, for Christmas or whatever. So, yeah, it's going to be interesting to see. It's going to be interesting when the game is officially going to be announced because, like I said, you also have uh, Outrage coming out between that time. And then at the end of... And then after Resident Evil 4, you've got... Uh, Apocalypse or RE9 apparently coming out. So yeah, um, apparently that's uh, that's all the info he's got. Yeah, that's it. Apparently, um, shame, uh, a shame because I really would have liked to have read the actual thing, but that got that got taken down unfortunately. Um, I think that's it. That's really all I can really talk about at this point. That is all the info I have for Resident Evil 4 remake. Um, I hope you guys like that, and I'm looking forward to this, and I'm hoping it ends up being better than what we got with Resident Evil 2 and 3 Remake, because they're fun games, but they didn't scratch that itch that a remake did, do you know what I mean, that the original RE1 remake did. Because I'm not a huge fan of the original plot for Resident Evil 4, and because I'm not a big, I mean, I lo don't get me wrong, it's a great game, but Jesus, does it, does it lag, does it go on for way too long? I'm hoping the remake is more condensed and has a better story. You know, that's that's my hope for it. And I imagine I would prefer a reimagining of that a lot more than what we ended up with when it came to Resident Evil 2 and 3 Remake. But yeah, fingers crossed, guys. Uh, fingers crossed. Fingers crossed that RE4 Remake will be great. Anyway, guys, uh, that's that. I hope you enjoyed that. Please like and subscribe. And I shall see you when I shall see you. Take care and bye. Seriously, like and subscribe, guys. Or I will haunt you in your dreams. Or your horror games. Whichever you prefer. See, now I'm trying too hard. You made me try too hard, guys. Like, what? Come on. Come on. Don't make me try too hard. It's embarrassing.